So our workshop was on the automation. Our workshop was on automation and uh, driverless car, connected car, and as uh, Eric Miller said this morning, this is probably one of the most disruptive uh, change we have in travel behavior or going to have, maybe we'll have. That's why actually some doubts in the, during the workshop. Um, we started by uh, introduction. Uh, people, people presented their own research, so we did a round uh, in the table. Everybody shortly presented what he did. Um, then I gave a quick summary. Uh, this is a fifth workshop I'm co-chairing on this topic. So we started uh, in the IIT Barrett in 2015, John Walker and I uh, co-chaired one of the, the first of this series. Then with different people in this room, we co I co-chaired uh, the 2016, 17, and 18 Autonomous Vehicle Symposium, which the 18 was last week in San Francisco. So I had a lot of input and things, so we are prior to, I, made, I tried to make a short presentation summarizing this experience and what we learned from these four previous workshops, so we start with something. Um, we then based it in on the two uh, resource uh, sessions we had that morning, and those, uh, my praise to Costas and to the organization and to the presenters, they were really a good uh, background to the discussion. There were different factors were discussed, different methods, different data, so they really provided a great opening uh, to this session. Um, and then uh, basically we had some uh, process of gathering idea which I let Amanda who pretty much led the idea and came with it to describe and then I'll come back with some uh, brief okay. results. Okay, thank you. So, so we wanted to make uh, the pace of this workshop completely different from the general uh, conference and have the audience be very participative and uh, sorry. Is that okay? And get people to talk to uh, other researchers, uh, the crossover between students and the uh, faculty, and get everybody a little bit uncomfortable uh, in this idea generation. So we created these four uh, stations, uh, and we named this a idea storm with a roving character. So uh, the different participants were first grouped uh, in a way that they were working with people from different institutions. Uh, and then moved around across these stations to sort of keep the energy uh, levels and, and uh, the inventiveness up at late in the afternoon. We had excellent help from four scribes that actually took on a role of uh, moderators in each table and get the, uh, make sure that you didn't get stuck on specific issues. So thanks to Pablo, Mustafa, uh, Fatime, and Victoria for stepping up and taking on this great role. Uh, and it seemed like it actually got everybody talking uh, and very vibrant discussions in each table. So these are some examples. Um, and our goal here was to come up with as many ideas as possible, not be overly critical and try to be uh, propositive and creative and sort of uh, build a knowledge repository for the second day of our uh, interactions. So by the end of this day, we came up with four of these uh, set of lists of statements. Uh, that uh, were the input for the second day of our interactions. Um, so our second day, uh, we had printed out all these lists and uh, allowed people to rank the different proposals. So Joran will talk you through some of those rankings uh, that we came up with. And we also asked them, uh, we recreated the groups. Unfortunately, we had only half, about, about half of the participants, so we could create only two groups at this point. Uh, but again, we had a really lively discussion and the goal was very challenging. In one hour, essentially, participants had to pitch uh, a, a number of research ideas, drawing on the elements from these individual lists of uh, behavioral factors, methods for uh, 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 estimation, data, and open issues, uh, and try to come up with a cohesive research proposals, drawing on these uh, as, they, as they wished. Uh, so this is what that looked like. I think you recognize some of the members of this group discussion. Uh, and I'll leave it over to Joram to talk you through a little bit of the priorities that we came up with and the research proposals. Thanks. So really, just the comment, while uh, Costas and uh, Chorus directed us like, to come with ready-made uh, proposal, uh, we felt like uh, in, in the five hours we had, we really should give good thoughts about what are the issues, what are the topics, uh, what are the methods, I mean, and, and try to rank them and kind of, uh, so we made, this, we made this process that uh, Amanda described. So first everybody voted himself on trying to allocate points between different topics to kind of uh, prioritize them. 
And then once we, well, the group started to work on the proposal, we synthesized the result and showed it to them so it can be input to their proposal at the writing. So I'm not going to all the details, but just some kind of highlights. So I think in the open issue, one of the interesting things, uh, uh, one major issue is with analyzing the transition period. I mean, so we, a lot of us kind of uh, thinking, well, there's a, de there's a debate whether we have an end, period, end, end results or not, but we kind of tend to analyze full automation, everything, and we kind of neglect a little bit the transition period. So that was a, an open issue that was, came raised up. Interestingly, the next few open issues are really refer to how the system will look in the future. So uh, one of the... What are really the, who are the AV providers? I was talking a little bit in the uh, uh, keynote by Maria. She talked about who are the uh, mass providers. In some, it's a similar kind of question, actually, in some sense. Uh, the future mobility modes, what kind of modes, what kind of models we'll have for future mobility. And then the, all the issue of the zero, which is another, this is a different uh, uh, impact, the zero occupancy vehicle models and the impact on pedestrian and bikes. I mean, are we... Uh, taking trips, I mean, are we reducing those for more mass AV, uh, the, the major open issue? So, after we kind of may try to prioritize the open issue that we found, we thought, what are the really be most important behavior factors which we should uh, consider? Um, obviously, willingness to share came the highest, uh, everybody figure out, I mean, the willingness to share is an important issue. Um, with some uh, pricing policy, whatever they'll be, I mean, there was a strong feeling pricing policy will have to be there, uh, and obviously they will have an impact on behavior. I mean, so we, there's some feeling that we'll have to intervene in behavior. We cannot let the market do whatever is going. Um, the perception of safety came back and expected benefit. Value of time is actually, we have a problem because we have value of time and we have multitasking, so we kind of hard now to rank it. We had, we had some issues as we did this fast because the, the ideas we came are, came through, through the people, what people throw. We didn't come with this list. So basically the participants created this list and we did it all a little bit fast. We have uh, only five hours. <laughs> uh, so, but basically value of time is obviously an important and, and, and big issue, but we have a hard time now to rank it in the right place. Um, I think an, an interesting issue is the data issue. A very high came, analyzed field experiment data, have, and, and I think we talked about it also while in, in during today. I think both Tommy Galling and Eric kind of referred to it and the value of SP. So field experiments data, real data from existing uh, emerging modes, uh, interviewing person who have tested AV in some sense, uh, all this kind of uh, current uh, sh autonomous, sh autonomous shuttle and all kind of those, try to collect data from whatever exists. There is a strong preference for revealed data. Uh, stated preference came, came, be came quite below, came quite down the list. Um, and then qualitative methods came on here as well. Qualitative data uh, came pretty high. So I think, uh, now this is kind of for everybody indiv individually, a group of, we were almost like so, uh, 30 people at the time, 35 people. So I think it's a, well, many, maybe not representative, but a, a good uh, example. Then we, dis uh, then we discussed a little bit the, the uh, method. Uh, now this is kind of a little bit, this, there was a mix of different things. So I mean, it was not, we, that we, we didn't give too much thought on preparing those lists. I mean, we basically got us from the participant. That was the idea. So they the, need to validate things. I mean, how do we validate all what we are doing? We're predicting. We have no idea. Uh, the, uh, there was a lot of issue of the dynamic, dynamic model, also the, talking about the transitions, also dynamic processes. I mean, we're not coming to an end result. The way we go there is important and will affect the end result, or whatever end is, if we, no end. Uh, Honey was saying there is no end result. I mean, we're always in transition. Um, and then a combined RPSP is good, but not SP alone. Uh, and uh, there was a strong need to overcome the gap between intention and behavior. How do we make uh, more realization of uh, the, whole, the whole world of AV? So I think that's, a, and, and the time allocation model was uh, following Chandra's uh, keynote. Um, that that's came as an important way of trying to uh, better understand. So this were the, the kind of insight. Once we showed that, we let them work in two groups. I'm not going to over. We don't have full proposal. I'm sorry, <laughs> but uh, but I think we have good uh, good starting ideas. So uh, the two groups have different. So one group, the first one group, kind of focused by starting to ask what the what the most interesting questions and the most interesting question they come with the adoption of AV, the SAV versus own AV, and the issue of the uh, various impact on travel behavior. 
Um, then they list a kind of a various data collection method that they thought would be good to, to use. And then basically, uh, as you see, uh, I think there are no, well, they're, they're sort of like using the video as part of STE, but simulator, way more data control environment. Again, there's a lot of focus on not less SP, but more kind of trying to either qualitative, other actual, some data. And then they came with like four large proposal uh, titles. Um, these are the titles. Um, they'll, they'll go, they have some detail. I'll not go over the detail, but regional house or travel schedule in an autonomous future. So how uh, basically travel uh, pattern will be under autonomous vehicles. And that's why I, bought the, uh, I like this name. Uh, is my dream AV planner nightmare build your own AV? What is the, what is the user preference AV? What it will make? Um, and then the impact of AV pre preference on infrastructure needs, both on infrastructure need in terms of the actual need technology, but also in, in the need to investment in infrastructure. So that's what an interesting research question. And oops, sorry, and, and clothing the multi method. Then again, the validation just make really how we can really process and 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 and, and, and validate this. The other group came with one large proposal, which include everything. <laughs> so it's kind of, uh, uh, and basically they said, uh, the title they came with was Definition and Evaluation of Potential Future Scenarios of Fully Automated Vehicle, Helping Community Reach Their Vision. Um, and they basically, they, they're all, they're, their general process, the general idea was uh, start with defined a lot of different scenarios, at least 10 different scenarios of future automation. So we have, because we don't know, what are the different ones? And, and they detail what are the element of the scenarios. Uh, then they came with kind of, okay, we uh, run the sim simulation, simulate the scenarios, but in order to simulate the scenarios, we study the adoption rate, study user acceptance, <laughs> study module. So uh, they're still missing the, the element of exactly the details here. So I mean, this is really, uh, yeah, still needs some work. I mean, it's not ready to submit, but hopefully. And then kind of a, based a, having once they did this uh, behavioral input and the scenario, uh, help community to choose the right strategy to avoid the planner nightmare. Uh, finally, I want special spank to all the reporter students, Victoria, uh, Kolarova, Mustafa Har, Pablo Guardo, and Fatima Nazari. They ex really did an amazing job summarizing uh, and, and, and processing all the input from all the participants. And obviously, thank for all the participants as well. Thanks.